And as the Dow Jones Industrial Average indicates, the anniversary week of Pearl Harbor was marked by rumors of peace. And investors rejoiced both at the possibility that war will be avoided and the reality that interest rates, both long and short, are coming down. The Dow closed up for the second straight week, gaining more than 30 points to 2590.10 after moving above 2600 for the first time in more than two months. When first approached by NBC, Honeywell officials said all activity since Vietnam was in research and development support for the U.S. Navy and U.S. Army. When NBC showed Honeywell officials Honeywell's own memos and Justice Department documents showing Keith Smith's involvement with Iraq, their story changed. If true, uh, the allegation about these activities uh, that supposedly occurred in the 1984 time period uh, are very disturbing. Uh, as chief executive of Honeywell, I'm very concerned. A car designed to settle in when you race into it head on. To stabilize when it buffets you from the side. Road and Track called it one of the ten best cars in the world. But it is probably better known as the Infiniti Q45. And right now, let's send you to Andrea Joyce at the Downtown Athletic Club in New York, home of the Heisman Ceremonies. A way to get Jessie to do any trick, give her something she loves to eat. Well, same with me. <laughs> <laughs> Go see Debbie. Yes, sir. You'll do just fine. I will now attempt to insert this knife into your neck with... Oh! Oh, oh shoot! Know that nudity, or at least your record company knows that nudity is is banned by MTV. They're not going to allow any. Well, let I'm not so sure about that because when I did my Vogue video, there's a shot of me where you can I'm wearing a see-through dress and you can clearly see my breasts. Now they told me that they wanted me to take that out, but I said I wouldn't, and they they played it anyways. So I thought that once again I was going to be able to bend the rules a little bit. Well, you you certainly were bending the rules a lot more than you had in the past. Ray and Jimmy together. The Vaughn Brothers, the warmth and feeling of family style, featuring the hit single Tick Tock. Different women. I'm not gonna live like this. Fine, do something about it. In three disastrous marriages. Jerry walked out on the damn him. They've been cheated on. Yeah. Lied to. I was humiliated again. And betrayed. I am sick of listening to complaints. There's only one way out. You want a divorce? Put both of us out of our misery. Between Stephanie oh. Powers, Catherine Hellman, and Crystal Bernard, who will call it quits and who will call it truce? I want my marriage to work. It's not too late. When will I be loved? NBC Monday. A new thriller from the director of Dangerous Liaisons and producer Martin Scorsese of Goodfellas. <laughs> Who's conning who? The Martin Scorsese production of a Stephen Frears thriller, The Grifters. And they are both rare in that you don't have to cook up every situation for them and write half their dialogue for them. Howard accepted the task of writing the script on condition that he could work 3,000 miles away from the Selznick Studios at his farm in Massachusetts. The World Today, followed by Moneyline, here on CNN. For top Hollywood hits, check out Viewer's Choice in December. The dollars... And we have the $300 question going to you, Perry. Besides Grover Cleveland's wife, only one other first lady remarried after the death of her husband. Name her. Mrs. Garfield? No, it was Jacqueline Kennedy. Oh. And uh, that'll cost you $300. Mike and Warren for 500 
President William Henry Harrison died after only about a month in office. Name the man who succeeded him. Warren? Tyler. Tyler is right. First name, John. The earthquake that never happened. And finally this evening, the American composer Aaron Copland, who has died. He's cool. He's crazy. He's Charles, and he's coming your way. Charles in Charge, starring Scott Bale. Next. The sticks, not so, making a bed where the marbles go. You don't want those marbles, not at all. So pick a stick, but don't let them fall. Because if a ghost could plunk, just so. Kerplunk from Tyco. Coming to you live from Studio B, welcome to Evening Magazine. I'm Sarah Edwards. And I'm Barry Nolan. We came up with this crazy contest called Trading Places, which was really very popular. What we would do is people would uh, send in postcards and we'd pick the most unusual occupations and Barry and I would trade places. That was one of those assignments where as soon as I heard it, I just, I wanted to weasel out of it. I didn't want to do it. Wonderful tribute to your remarkable life and you. Yeah. She's really a hundred and one. Quick, quick, sugars in flavor so fine. They're ready the instant you make up your mind. So many flavors in so little time. Quaker is the grits in flavor so fine. Now Quaker introduces. Kuzak tackles the First Amendment. Murray and Benny become swinging singles, and a new computer program pushes Becker's button. This is Alan Rachin. Join us on L.A. Law Thursday. The ever-increasing murder rate will look into the hearts and minds of detectives who must deal with the everyday realities of violence. I'm Tom Brokaw. Join me for an NBC News special, Houston Homicide, Friday. Wednesday, a special presentation of Midnight Caller. The station taken hostage, forced to try a murderer on the air. Or doing a live remote with the kidnappers for murder. This is somebody's life we're talking about here. The public decides the verdict. The sentence may be death. Do you think I'm guilty? You were all drafted for jury duty. Midnight Caller at 9, 8 Central. Secretary Cheney and Chairman Powell had to answer critics who say the huge military buildup in the Gulf has prematurely put the U.S. on the course of war. Cheney said force may be necessary soon because economic sanctions alone may not force Iraq to withdraw from Kuwait. If president were to ask me today, can you guarantee that these sanctions will work within a year or two? The answer is no, I cannot. Uh, it seems to me that's almost a chicken little approach to our current policy. Hi, I'm Barbara Bush. Did you know illiteracy in this country could be eliminated by the year 2000? The key is to get our young people reading now. That is why for years I have supported and worked with RIF. Reading is fundamental the national organization that has helped millions of young people discover the joys of reading. Learn more about RIF and how you can help, because reading is fundamental to America's future. Ein bisschen zu weit. Game für die USA und damit 5 zu 3. Alabama with the football, first and 10 from its own 18, leading 13 7. I adjust my visor to aerodynamically reduce wind resistance. Todd Lorenz is making special preparations for his work shift at McDonald's. I hone my spatula to reduce friction. Because for a limited time, a regular McDonald's hamburger is only 59 cents, a cheeseburger just 69 cents. At these low prices, both the burgers and Todd will be moving fast. I am a professional. Do not try this at home. 59 cent hamburgers and 69 cent cheeseburgers only at McDonald's. Alaska, Toronto, uh, London, Key West, Jamaica, we were in Disney World, white water rafting in the Grand Canyon, my favorite all-time trip. <laughs> Tuesday, <laughs> powerful men are murdered, and the killer sets his sights on Matlock. Where are you? That wasn't in his right mind. Tim's search for a suspected killer leads to his own family. There ain't no family, no more. In the heat of the night, after Matlock on NBC Tuesday. 
Okay, and I don't think any of these issues are are, are evident in in my video. That's where I draw the line. That's what I don't want to see. But I guess that then, then one woman's art is another woman's pornography. I'm thinking of the Express Yourself video. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are images of you chained. And there are yes, images of you I'm crawling chained. under a table. And there are a yes, lot of people yes. who are upset by that. Okay, I'm chained myself, though, okay? No, there wasn't a man that put that chain on me. I did it myself. I was chained to my desires. Hottest concert event of the year, only on pay-per-view cable TV. Friday, December 7th, 8 p.m. Eastern and Pacific, or catch a replay. Plan your party now. Now listen, we know you've seen pay-per-view before. You've seen Phil Collins and Donnie, you've seen all the people on pay-per-view. Let me tell you what, tonight is different. This is the new kids. And all you people out there sitting at home saying, oh, I ain't gonna watch the new kids. You never seen us perform, you might as well call up your cable company and check it out because you your sister's watching, your girlfriend's watching, you might as well check it out too. Because then you'll find out what you've been so mad about for the last two years. But anyway. Fasten your seatbelt. Clint Eastwood, Charlie Sheen, Raul Julia, Sonia Braga, The Rookie. You're too far from your thoughts, am I? From my nightmares, is more like it. A forest fire, burning out of control. Land left scorched by man's carelessness. We once considered wildfires to be deadly. But now, America's willing to let the fires burn. It's a controversy that's blazing across the country. Join me, James Woods, for a World of Autobahn special. Wildfire, a TBS exclusive. 10 Eastern on TBS Sunday. It's an unclaimed treasure of the Wild West, and you can find its whereabouts. Plus, you can inherit millions in a royal fortune. See how to strike it rich on Unsolved Mysteries on NBC Wednesday. After our wonderful Grand Canyon adventure for five days on the Colorado River, we pulled out and we hiked about seven or eight miles to get up and out of the canyon. Kind of a difficult hike. We barely got the helicopter because it started to snow. The helicopter met us on the rim of the canyon, flew us to Las Vegas. We took a red eye back to Boston. We haven't had any sleep this entire time. Got off the plane at 7 in the morning. We go brush our teeth. And did our show for that night. Boy, was it hard to smile that night. Aren't we troopers? Federal <laughs> investigators began examining the two Northwest Airlines jets involved in yesterday's on-the-ground collision. Eight people were killed when a DC-9 turned into the path of a 727. Everyone agrees the DC-9 was not where it should have been. The question is why. Introducing the new 1991 Excel. At this new low price, we've made a good thing a whole lot better. Wind, Sand, and Stars is a series of tales and reflections in which the author expresses faith in the potential courage and nobility of man. This also, author also wrote the classic The Little Prince. For $7,215, name that author. Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. You are absolutely right. <laughs> Uh, more trouble in Romania. Watch for another Romanian revolution. Violence uh, this week at the anniversary of Ceausescu's overthrow. Democracy is not working there. Next week, Polish presidential runoff election. Happy Hanukkah. Bye-bye.